Hello, hello everybody. This is Christy Data and welcome to the Data Fit Show. Thank you for joining me and I'm super excited to continue to bring you updates with my journey to winning my pro card here in the NPC. We are 20 days away from stage and holy smokes, it is down to the wire. <laughs> and today's show is brought to you by the Girl Gang Evolution as well as Defiance Fuel. And I can leave some comments how to learn more about those companies in the show notes. So I'm so grateful for both of them. And one of them I'm actually the co-founder of, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we are 20 days away. I think I have broken down away from my plateau, made some changes in my nutrition plan. So I'm down to only small amount of carbohydrates per day, maybe like a half a sweet potato at best, and lots of water and black coffee if I need it. I have pulled out the majority of my um, products from Isogenics. I can currently use the vitamins, the probiotics, and the digestive enzymes, which are super helpful to keep my gut going. And then also I can do um, the greens and our little plant-based energy shots and the Isogenics coffee, which I love so much. So yeah, I'm a big fan of those products. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about what you will need the night before your show and the day of your show. So obviously, you're going to need your suit, which, just a little disclaimer, I had a little bit of a stressful day yesterday. On, I'm sorry, on Saturday, which, yeah, today's Sunday, so that would be yesterday. Good Lord. This is prep brain. <laughs> So I went to have my first official posing practice in my suit and it broke. So if you have the availability of a backup suit or somebody you know that has one, I highly recommend you always go to a show with your show suit that you're going to wear and a backup suit. So that's the first thing. Um, I also have two pair of shoes, the plastic stripper heels that we just love so much. So just in case something goes wrong, the heel breaks, the strap breaks, you just never know. So always have a plan B. So those are the two things that are two big things that you definitely need. You would also need a black or dark colored silk robe and you can get those at TJ Maxx for cheap. Um, Target has them and here's why. It kind of keeps you warm but then it will also not impact your tan. So let me back up here a little bit, pre-show. You're gonna show up, you're gonna check in, they're gonna give you your number, wear your suit bottoms. Now this is specifically for MPC, I'm not familiar with the other organizations, so you may have to just read the rules and the policies for those different organizations, but for NPC, you go the day before the show, you've already scheduled your tan, your makeup appointment and your hair appointment and that's always on the website of the specific show that you're participating in and you can schedule that weeks in advance which i highly recommend there's usually also a few hotel recommendations so if you are competing uh in specific show i would say within 60 days of the show date make sure you have all of that booked and scheduled so the night before your show you will show up check in they will check your bottom, so wear those at to the check-in because they want to make sure that they're regulation. And then you will also get measured height and weight, and then they will tell you um, what time pre-judging starts, and also you will go get your first two coats of tan the night before. So loose baggy clothing, you don't want anything that's really going to stick to you. You want to stay away from water for sure. And then some hotels might be stickler. So if you had dark colored sheets or dark colored blankets or towels that you don't care about, bring those with you so you can lay them down over the hotel sheets and stuff so you don't get dark colored spray tan. Cause I'm telling you the spray tan stuff that they use is on another level, serious. <laughs> Alrighty, and then Black, a black robe. So the black robe will help you keep warm um, and then it also won't rub and smear or impact your tan. Okay, show morning. You will get another coat of tan. Yes, I said another, so three. It's almost like a glazed donut at this point, you guys. So you will actually go get your next thing of tan. Um, first, you'll probably go get, yeah, you'll get your hair done and your makeup done afterwards. You're gonna let your tan dry. Pre-judging for most shows starts around eight o'clock in the morning. It could be earlier. And then depending upon what class you're in, meaning height, age, um, it depends. 
and then they will have you line up and then you'll go do your posing routine and then you can also get your hair done your makeup done I also bring a um, coolie bag so if you refer back to a few episodes earlier of the different items that I like to use for my show day there is six pack nutrition um, they have multiple travel packs that have freezer packs they have little trays you can put some meals and things in so what I usually bring on my show day I usually do rice cakes a nut butter I'll do some jelly uh, maybe some honey I bring my little plant-based energy shots. They're called e-shots. They're um, bioisogenics and they are yerba mate and green tea based. I also bring little isodelites, so they're green tea fat burning chocolates. So I usually have those on hand and then I may bring a couple of my meals with me, usually plain vegetables, white fish, maybe a sweet potato. It just depends on how my body's responding. And then early in the morning, you're still you know, kind of depleted so you can sip on some black coffee but you're not guzzling water whatsoever. And then just depending upon where you're at and what your body's looking like, which is why I love having my coach with me. Um, I pay for an extra coach's pass for them to come backstage to kind of keep me going throughout the day. And it is a long day. So make sure you bring all of your stuff with you, backup suits, backup shoes, all of your food items that you are prepping with. Um, that can all be stored backstage and resistance bands. Um, I have a small set of resistance bands that I bring that have handles on them. I use them for the pump up area so you can kind of do some bicep curls and some shoulder raises and you know some kickbacks to get the glutes firing. So resistance bands are huge too. So that's just a few of the things that you know I would also make sure you have. And then jewelry. Um, keep your jewelry handy. I always bring a backup set of those. You never know if you lose the back of an earring or something breaks because it's all costume jewelry. I find my most of my costume jewelry either at a TJ Maxx or at one of those like Claire's kind of stores in the mall and just get something that you feel pretty in. And I usually do two bangles on my wrists and then really big, huge earrings. And that's pretty much it. And then the makeup is pretty heavy as well. Um, your nails need to be done and a lot of women do either a French manicure or they'll put like shiny crystals or bright fun, you know, maybe to match their suit color, but the nails are pretty important too, which I've put on fake nails before. Holy cow. It is like, I feel, it feels weird. Like I almost have claws on there. <laughs> And then that's pretty much it. Like uh, I bring flip flops with me too. So I try not to keep my shoes on the entire time because by the time the end of the day rolls around, if you figure you're there from eight o'clock to eight, eight to eight, that's a 12 hour day in those plastic heels. Um, usually prejudging depending upon how big your class is. It could be anywhere from two to three hours and then you have a couple of hours of a break. And then the finals at night is where they announce the winners per category and then they might do an overall show winner. So those are just a few of the things that I recommend. Um, obviously, if you're participating with a team, you would probably have a list of things that the coaches there will provide. But if you're independently doing this like I am myself, those are some of the things that I would highly recommend. And yeah, and always at the end of your show, if you have the opportunity, this is something that I learned as well, make sure you interact with the judges or find out how to contact them and get feedback because they actually appreciate that and they'll remember your name for asking and it'll actually give you something to work on. So for me, my feedback from judges when I did my first national show a year ago in Pittsburgh was I needed to work on my hamstrings, my hips and my presentation. So that's really what I've been focusing on and by presentation, it's the posing and <laughs> Moving around in those plastic heels and trying to, you know, keep a really flat, tight core and twist and contour and then, yeah, it's a it's an art. And I'm telling you, I, I still feel like I'm learning every single day and I'm so grateful for my coach, Meredith Mack. You can check her out on Instagram, Meredith Mack. She's fantastic. I'm trying to coax her into creating her own team because I think she'd be amazing at it. Well, you guys here it is it is 20 days away from my first show on june 29th it's going to be in wayne new jersey it is the npc garden state championships and then six days later july 5th i will be competing in team universe and that is a national show and i'm so so excited for that one that will be my first opportunity to go for my pro card so fingers crossed 
As always, so grateful that I get the opportunity to share my experience with you guys. My headspace is in such a good place. You know, I'm just at this at this stage in the game, it's just go for it and keep your head high. I do a lot of visualization now with how I'm approaching the stage, how I'm standing, how I'm posing. And I'm actually manifesting and telling myself I am a winner. I am a pro card holder and just constantly reinforcing that. And just as the show gets closer to, I'm super excited for all the new amazing women that I'm going to meet that have such dedication and discipline and really look forward to all of the things that come along with show day. It's going to be an incredible, incredible experience. And I can't wait to share with you more about that. So I hope you got out there today. Did what you needed to do if you're prepping for a show or move your body the best way you know how and put some amazing nutrition in there. And if you're at this stage of the game, yeah, it's pretty lean. Fish, veggies, and egg whites <laughs> and a few sweet potatoes here and there. <laughs> but if you ever have any questions about supplementation or the products that I have fallen in love with over the last four plus years, I'm happy to share with you. And then always, 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 you guys, do that thing that makes your soul sing because that's what really matters. And I wish you all the best if you're competing. And we will see you next time. This is Christy Data for the Data Fit Show. Again, this is brought to you by the Girl Gang Evolution and Defiance Fuel. Catch you next time, you guys.